So good news, that scan went really, really well. I'm gonna share the results here with you. Peter Piper, Peter Piper packed a pack of pickles. Peter Piper packed a bunch of pickles. I don't know. I'm still so frozen, it's been over an hour. Happy Thursday, nice quiet morning here in the sheep barn. Busy day today, I overbooked myself as per usual. I have Rebecca coming to scan those ewes that were bred in November. I'm praying for a good scan. They will be early April babies. I also have the banker coming in a couple hours. So I have to get chores done before he comes. And then right after that, I actually have a dentist appointment. So I have banker, dentist, Rebecca. I'll try to see if there's any questions today regarding, you know, anything to do with breeding, scanning, gestation in general. I'll, I'll, I'll be kind of scanning to see if there's anything that kind of falls in line with the theme of today, which is, are my sheep gonna be pregnant? I'm regretting all the chocolate that I ate at Christmas because I had two cavities. I can't feel, I'm not even going to talk to you guys, I'm going to talk like this because I look ridiculous. Rebecca's on her way, i got to set up the barn still and uh, get ready for, <laughs> get ready for the ultrasound. I cannot feel any of this from there down. Holy cow. And I'm realizing now the importance of, uh, the importance of benefits for farmers. We don't have any. And this just cost me like a lot of money. So I really need to go on a sugar cleanse because I can't afford to fill my teeth. Well, Kinsey, let's get to work here. Okay, I got all the ewes moved from those two vac pens up the alley. And then I moved them into here and then I moved them over there. So a little bit of moving around. Sorry, I can't talk because my stupid mouth is still frozen. So, these are all the ladies. They are fully wooled, very girthy. I just hope they're full of babies. So what will happen, Rebecca's got her own crate for scanning. So she'll set up here, she'll have her little chair there, and then she'll have her machine right around there. And then she kind of reaches in from behind here and she'll scan kind of underneath the U. And then her screen will show whether the, the U is pregnant or not. And then she'll come out here and I'll deflect her. If she's pregnant, she'll go back in her pen. If they're open, they're gonna go into this pen. Because they're open, I'm probably gonna ship them, ship them next. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm going, to, I'm going to take them to the sales bar next week. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickles? Peter Piper packed a bunch of pickles? I don't know. I'm still so frozen. It's been over an hour. I got him. 
so hungry. Uh, <laughs> you had to skip one. <laughs> I definitely wasn't going to eat. I'd be chewing on my lip. Yeah. And what is that? Like, check out the conversation. So the thing with those ewes, uh, because they were bred in season for 34 days naturally and they did not conceive, I'm not keeping them. Usually I give ewes two chances to conceive except for the fall breeding group because nat naturally sheep want to breed in the fall. So if they didn't breed in two full cycles and I had a ton of ram power, so it wasn't ram power wouldn't have been the issue either, then they don't need to be here because basically um, if they can't do it in the fall, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep them around. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I gotta rearrange everything. I've got everybody kind of pushed back, all the groups kind of pushed back, 
So now I gotta kind of put them in their right pens. I gotta sort the pregnant ones out. And I gotta pull these call ewes into their own little pen, maybe at the front of this pen. Sale day was today, so I have to wait for a week to put them on the trailer, which is fine, because my lambs go next week. So I'll be able to put the ewes with my lambs. So good news, that scan went really, really well. I think one of my best ones. I'm gonna share the results here with you. I took a picture. Okay, there was 116 in that group. I thought there was 114, but two miraculously appeared. Seven were open, so seven were not pregnant. Two are really skinny, so I'm wondering if there's something. She said one had an infection inside, like in her uterus, uh, and the other one's just skinny, so. Sheep aren't good if they're too skinny. 16 having singles. 76 having twins and 17 having more than two so three or more so that is 109 pregnant out of 116 which is I think 94% if I did my math right my mouth is finally coming to life I was able to barely get a mr. noodles half inside my mouth half of it burnt my face and my leg as it fell out of my mouth and my divorce with chocolate only lasted about two hours because I was able to eat a couple mint Oreos at lunch. I'm so addicted to chocolate, it's not even funny. It was celebration because that was a really good scan. All sheep farmers out there are gonna tell me, yeah, no kidding, it, they are in season and you bred them for 34 days. They should have bred and you would be right. The seven that are open, I'm gonna show you. So those are the seven that are open. Skinny, skinnier and there's another skinny one back there and then the rest are kind of chubby so i'm not sure what's going on there so here are my successfully expecting mummies to be little miss goat is pregnant hello my sweet pea are you gonna have two babies you got two brewing in there the last time she lambed i called her baby feta so now i need two new goat baby names you guys can maybe help help me out with that. So she's having two, and guess who else is having two? <gasps> Ruby! Come here, Rubes. Come here. Come here. Ruby. Come here. She's playing hard to get. There she is. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. So Ruby's also having twins. Aren't ya? You already, you look like you're gonna, <laughs> you are a house. Are you a house? That baby. Scratches. Scratches. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're such a sweet pea. Okay, so this is the uh, successful candidates here and all those over there. So there's 109 between the two pens. 
Okay, you guys, I am running out of time and I haven't even answered your questions today. So I took some screenshots of some questions. Noose Miller, I think, I think it's Noose, Noose Miller. Could you do a follow up on some of the lambs from this last lambing group? How are they doing? Like Popcorn's Baby, the Billy Black Lambs, the Quints, the Lamb with the Hurt Leg, the lambs who got rejected by their mamas. I was always wonder how they're doing. Okay, well I will do my best. The problem with, uh, like I know who Popcorn's Babies are because they're Popcorn's Babies. I know who Billy's Babies are because they're Billy's Babies. So sometimes I get attached to certain lambs and I know who they are. As for the other ones, um, they kind of disappear because <laughs> I don't remember what number they were. You guys would know better than me because you can look at my videos and tell me. So I'm going to just bed up these pens and uh, at the same time you guys can have a look at how the lambs are doing. They're doing, I don't want to put anything into the universe to like to, to um, curse me but I have to say they're growing really well. I think I've been attentive and uh, the winter hasn't been too bad either, right? It hasn't been, it hasn't, hasn't been cold out and that makes a big difference. I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna turn the camera and you can watch the lambs. You guys want to see some of Billy's babies? Hello, sweetie. This is my new friend. You are so beautiful. Aren't ya? Okay, so there's one there. Oh, hi. You're not a suck at all. They are so friendly. Like, all of them. Like, how do they know? You want to play fisties? You want to play fit? Oh, yeah. Here, play fisties. Yeah, you get my hand. Ouch. Yeah. One there. There's one over yonder. There's mom. She's watching us. Hey, your mommy's watching us. Yes, she is. She's a hover mother. Actually, I think those are her twins. Hers. I think this is another one. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. That's popcorns right there. This one. Oh, hi. That wasn't very nice. This is popcorn's big one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and that's that's its sister with the bad leg. You were putting weight on it. Are you talking to mom? Where's your baby? Talk to your baby. Is this your baby? Yeah. Look. So she's such a hover mother. You talk to your baby. Yeah, that's her baby there and here. And just like that. Hey, sweetie, you just keep following me around, don't ya? Hi, little popcorn. What are we gonna call you? Hmm? What are we gonna call you? Just cute. Aww. Oh, already a sweetie. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. You're sweet too. Yes. Okay, I got time for another one. Uh, Jesse Lynn asked me two days ago, how long does it normally take to know if the ewes are pregnant? So I decided to wait on this one till today. So I always get Rebecca to come scan six weeks after I pull the rams. So I pulled these rams when I was lambing back in December, six weeks ago. Now, a lot of these ewes were bred in the first part of November, so when I saw them on her scanner, the, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, where you could see the babies, they were way bigger than they usually are. They're usually just like tiny little dots, 
and in in the scan today they were twice the size they were so big and I'm like what's going on with those uh, what are they called not codlings anyways there there's an actual term for them and uh, she said no they're just that much bigger so they were they were bred in the in their first cycle so they would have bred I, I put the rams in November 11th so they would have been bred between the 11th and probably the 20th something like that most of them will be due the first part of April so April 6th is their due date so mark that on your calendars I'll be coming back and vlogging every single day for that so that was exciting so it was a really good scan today so that makes me happy one more question uh, this one's from Julia and she's asked a couple times so I want to answer her because she is a fellow Canadian so hello Julia her question is what education have you had to get to this point I'm studying to be a veterinary technician and we have our own little flock at our school your videos are so entertaining and educational sending support from a fellow Canadian so thanks Julia uh, I have had no education when it comes to sheep um, I have been educated by the school of hard knocks and the University of Google. That is it. I wish I had gone to school to learn about sheep. The schooling that I have done since realizing the errors of my ways is I took the Master Shepherds course here in Ontario. Our um, provincial sheep group puts it on. It's for sheep producers in Ontario. I'm not sure if they're trying to expand it out of that, but it's Ontario for now, and I learned so much. There was 12 courses over two years. And, uh, and I learned so much and I met so many good people. So I did learn what I know through, really from experience, from a few mentors and from definitely the Master Shepherds course. So great question.